Oh, I drove a boat through this corner right here. It's a cave in Ohio. I drove a boat under this uh, little thing. You did? It's not little, actually. It's a That's bridge. Good. It's James. It's John. Oh, oh, the sun blaring is so beautiful. Whoa, that's a big boat. Oh, there's falls on the bridge. Yeah, you gotta help me out. Yeah, you got me on the back burner. Smile. Smile like you mean it. There. I see your silhouette, so I don't see it. Can't you. You're a silhouette. I'm you. I'm a silhouette. Yeah. Now you're not. You're not anymore. Cool. Yep. I can see your face. Successful day, I guess. I guess so. What do you think happened today? Okay. Yeah. First off. I woke up thinking I was going to the doctor, and now I'm on a crazy trip, and uh, I, uh, my, my dad got to see me as a crackhead, and it was not good for me, because I'll probably get yelled at by, for that later. Hey, you, you were a pig's head. Shut up. Okay, and then we got on this car ride, but got the hey. silent treatment from everyone except for me, and uh... You gotta use stunt statements. Sorry. do got yelled at by everyone except me because he forgot the disc of our entry. Turns out we didn't need it anyways because we didn't match the criteria for the movie because we didn't get an email of what was going on until 12 o'clock yesterday or something. Well, actually, yeah, did. so we were disqualified. So, that sucks. But, we did meet a bunch of people and... I guess there's... I just said your name twice. three filmmakers that wanted to collaborate with us and five people we can job shadow so basically our career, my career just jumped 10 years and I'm actually having a chance to edit a narrative film or a documentary for a professional yeah and everyone's here you got curly head guy you got on on you got Tommy and you got Dolphus 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 and you got Cytomex now I guess he's missing Mr. Green, he totally missed out on everything. We got ice cream. We met, we met filmmakers that were like, "Dude, your videos are great. We want to make movies with you." Basically, like that. And we just gave a whole bunch of people our YouTube channel, and we're gonna get discovered. And Mr. Green is not getting any of it. Yep. And we also had. And he's so ecstatic about that. We had pizza, the the best pizza you ever had, and we have enough leftovers to last us a the day. Night. The night. The night. The night. Exactly. And, and we're about to throw a massive party. And this pizza was the none highest. None of you are invited. This is the highest grade <laughs> pizza ever. And it's. I'm actually. Sorry, I have to get a big party invited. Bread ever. The flatbread was just a piece of heaven smashed and ironed into a perfect piece but then I of ruined... Jesus' flesh that you could just eat yes. and become omniscient. Well, then I told him that the breadsticks were probably just failed pizza attempts, and he got really mad at me. Because I was eating procrastination. Yep, procrastination. which is his entire life. These people were like, hey, I just made a pizza. Like, procrastination? What did we just do today? We sat around and asked a bunch of questions. You know what? Those questions are what made me famous. We Yeah, your procrastination, you ate it, and then you we, become legendary. We were in a group. That's what happens when you eat... When you eat your own words, you become you become a legend. This filmmaker randomly <laughs> called me amazing after I asked the question. People were like, "How old is this guy?" I'm 15. Whoa. Yeah, so, people scoff. Yeah, sure. They scoffed, not because he was a child, but they were like, "Yeah, right. You're 15. You have way too much life experience." Thanks, <laughs> Anyways. And my uh, and I like peanuts and cashews and and all sorts of stuff. And I said your name again, so I'm gonna have to edit this part out. <coughs> hey, I'm Dole Blue, and I like no, pizza, no, peanuts no, and cashews no. and stuff, and there's another motorcycle fun. rider. God, how I would say I hate motorcycle riders. <laughs> Anyways, besides Cytomex's obscene hate for completely unnecessary things to threshold such atrocities. Hey, threshold is a song by... Okay.
dude. We got are slow. Anyways, uh, I guess it's time to talk about some people we met. This uh, guy, Colton Tran. Colton Tran made a movie called Un Unpleasantville. Unpleasantville. It's about. It's hitting theaters, and we know this dude, and we're gonna. We're yeah, gonna chill. and he knows Jeanette McCurdy from like iCarly and stuff, which I don't watch. Psh, don't don't put that on me. 